So, good morning and good afternoon to all of you. Uh, thank you for being with us. Uh, I hope we will have some good time together, actually. Uh, it's a very new format for all of us. So, at least on this side, I can tell you that. Uh, I really hope we get to see each other in a, in, in, in a, how should I say, a normal fashion again. Anyhow, guys, uh, this is a very short, uh, brief presentation uh, about our strategy. But, I mean, never a presentation uh, given by me without a Winston quote. This one, I think, is quite nice, though, because it's, uh, well, he wasn't talking about COVID. Uh, this quote was given by Winston when he was arguing for building and establishing the United Nations organization. Huh? So a very grand purpose, and it was just after the World War II. And I mean, that was, a, of course, a major crisis and, and probably not a good crisis, if you get me. But so we do not have an equally grand initiative, but we do have one. And well, this is a bit of a joke, of course. Uh, uh, you, um, uh, it's not about uh, putting on braces, but I mean, I can see that that value proposition has uh, uh, good times these days. So, I mean, unfortunately, we are not in that business. But uh, the thing we've taken upon ourselves is to reinvent our ways of working. And I mean, this was triggered essentially by us having to go back home and sit in our, I would say, home offices. Uh, I called it my cave earlier on, but I mean, uh, we thought that, okay, there's a lot of learning here. We need to look at tools. We need, need to look at uh, software and, and, and uh, basically the hardware setup and everything. And from that to even look at our project methodology, the way we do stuff. And this is, uh, of course, um, uh, a big thing. Uh, we have started and we will tell you more as we move on from here uh, and as we make conclusions, of course. Okay, uh, from the introductory video, you saw this message uh, and these are the trends, the industry trends or the industry agenda that we're going to relate to uh, throughout the entire event, actually. And also, I mean, now uh, during this strategy pitch. I hope you will see, though, that we are uh, answering these trends. We have answers both from a strategic point of view, but also uh, from uh, the deliveries uh, presentation that we're going to have throughout the event. So, what is our strategic goal? Well, guys, um, uh, we have boldly put this statement up. We want to be your partner in realizing the full business potential of hydrocarbon accounting and hydrocarbon management. And uh, we uh, even dare to claim that energy components, uh, your digital twin. So uh, uh, that may be a stretch seen from some of you, but let's think it over. Because I, what are we doing when we implement EC? Uh, we do model an asset. And uh, when we have modeled the assets, we start data collecting and we are collecting uh, accounting data. And we do that on a daily basis. And that is pretty much a historic digital twin. And it's updated on a daily basis. So quite accurate and quite updated. And now, guys, I mean, what is our HCM agenda or hydrocarbon management agenda? That is all about deriving value from those data. And yes, we even take it further with our integrated uh, asset modeling uh, uh, module. We can uh, look at multiple data sets and uh, run multiple simulators to give, uh, well, to give you a multidimensional view of your asset. Okay, so uh, let's move on. Uh, I'd like to talk about a strategy in three dimensions. Partnership, solution and services. So let's quickly move on. Um, partnership. This is very, very important to me. 
you know me, uh, some of you, and you heard me say this many times. Uh, this is a lot about the relationship between us. It is about culture. It is, it is about values and principles. It's about commitments and promises and the ability to be accountable. Uh, it's about competence. It's about professionalism and so much more. What I can tell you is that we are really set ourselves up to be a professional partner to you. And guys, yes, we have listed a few key words here. Um, uh, it is, of course, a lot about long-term commitments. I've used the word or the phrase having long lines. We are very, very true to that. We think that is a fundamental thing uh, in a relationship. Having enough dialogue on multiple levels to ensure a healthy dialogue is also important. That's the custom intimacy part. Last but not least, I think we need to earn, not to claim, but to earn uh, the trusted advisor role. So that is certainly a, a goal for us. And then you understand what I'm saying, a key strategic component in our, uh, to achieve our goal is really the relationship and the organization and, and all that comes along with it. Let's move on. Talking about the solution element, the answer to that is of course energy components. Uh, I guess you knew that. So, I mean, uh, in the middle here, we have, we have uh, the, the, uh, the module picture, which we have presented to most of you quite a few times. Uh, but it's just there as a placeholder now and just illustrating what I'm talking about. What I want to start by saying and, and, and giving to you as a commitment is that we are going to invest. We are continuing to invest to be relevant and to be uh, cost competitive. Uh, this is so important to us. We are investing on a continuous basis and we're going to commit doing so for the foreseeable future. This is how it has been, uh, at least ever since I came on board, and I'm quite happy to see uh, that this is happening. Moving on to, I would say, the, the fundamental or the foundation, uh, the architecture and technology. That's something Sven Helge is going to come uh, around and talk more about. But this is, of course, very important to us. Uh, I mean, uh, in the last user forum uh, for, for energy components, we talked about the direction of going into a much more modular uh, direction, uh, going from a, a monolith into a much more open design. EC13 is just about to ship and we are taking great steps in that direction. Uh, and, and Sven Helge will talk more about it. Obviously, things like upgradability, making sure we are uh, uh, sufficiently ready to be, uh, to be run in the cloud. And of course, user experience is high on the agenda from that aspect. All of this is to create business value. And guys, global best practice is that us? Well, that's something we have together developed over the years. This is also why the relationship dimension is so important. Uh, we have done this together over many years. I really hope we can continue to do that. And this is a commitment from our side, and I hope I can hear commitments from your end as well. This is why we think we can claim global best practice. So our end-to-end -end commitment is also obviously there. I mean, uh, cross-discipline value chain coverage is going to be more and more important. Our ability to cover business processes uh, from the start to the end of our niche uh, is something we have, uh, have high on the agenda and we will hear more about that as well. I mean, uh, now we are also talking about automation, for example. Uh, having, having business processes uh, uh, th that is run automatically and only with, with user intervention when, when exception happens. 
from the data we have, I've talked about it already, it's we have this HCM agenda of ours. That is to enable inside driven decision making. That is uh, where we really want to, I would say, uh, derive more value. Uh, and we're going to talk about most of the, of, of the modules in the HCM space through this event. So we will, you will hear a lot more about it. So last thing I wanted to mention on this uh, topic is that uh, Chemistry is now shipping the new module. Uh, Yunana will talk more about it uh, towards the end of the event. And I can also say we are uh, uh, in, I mean, we have the environmental module in making. It's happening. And uh, the first uh, scope or first focused scope we're going to uh, give attention to is, is um, emission tracking. So let's move on. So the last dimension I want to talk about today is how we are backing this all up with our services and how our services offerings are evolving. We've taken the step to create a separate organization to focus solely on continuous services. Uh, we have the ambition uh, to be the best and most cost uh, efficient organization in the industry to deliver EC and Da Vinci uh, as a service. And I think, well, I mean, we build, really believe that a focused organization is a good start and an important element in making that happen. And you will hear more about this. Per Christian will come back and talk and, and talk to you about it. In the other end, Consulting and services. We have the ambition to increase our consulting effort within, of course, the HCA and the HCM space, which is uh, where we are focusing. And this is a lot, of course, to, uh, to, to, I would say, earn the role as trusted advisor. That's important to us. We also want to continue to uh, commit to having the necessary competence and capacity to engage in projects and deliveries, involving, of course, our solutions. So uh, this is really how we want to deliver and achieve this goal. Uh, we clearly understand there are two parts in becoming, I mean, in, 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 in a partnership. So, but uh, with some of you, we already have a partnership and uh, uh, we hope to achieve and advance in that direction with all of you. That said, I want to say thank you. Um, we really appreciate your business and uh, stay with us. There is a lot of exciting things happening. Thank you.